We're being asked to solve this simple differential equation. It's a second order differential equation because we have a second derivative. And these things here, these are called initial conditions. Okay, this is really a calculus problem, not a differential equations problem. I mean, it is a differential equation, but this is the kind of thing you might see like in a calculus class. All right, so to start, we will first integrate this. So if we integrate the second derivative, we get the first derivative. So f prime of x is 4x squared over 2 plus c. So f prime of x is 2x squared plus c. So step one, integrate. And now use this initial condition to find c. So this says replace x with 0 and set everything equal to 1. So f prime evaluated at 0 is 2 times 0 plus c and that's equal to 1. So c is equal to 1. Now you plug the c back in. So f prime of x is 2x squared plus 1. Again, first thing you do, integrate one time, you get the first derivative, so you get this, then you use this condition, right, you replace x with 0, and set it equal to 1 to find c, so c was 1. Now we do it again, so integrate this, integrate the first derivative, and we just get f of x equals 2x cubed, right, we add 1, and then divide by 3, plus x plus c. So now we use the other condition. So f of 0 is, well, this is 0, this is 0, so you just get 0 plus 0 plus c, and the whole thing is equal to 5, right? 5 is right there, 5. So c is equal to 5. And so the final answer is f of x equals 2x cubed over 3 plus x, and then you just take the c and plug it back in. So plus 5. Let's go over that again because we did it really, really fast. I kind of rushed through it. So the first step is you have this second derivative here. You integrate it, and you get the first derivative. So we did that, and here's the first derivative. Okay, now we have to find c. So to find c, you use this condition here. So you just replace x with 0 and set it equal to 1. We did that here. Here's c equals 1. Then you plug it back in, and so you get this. Right, right here. This guy. Whoops. <laughs> that guy. Then you integrate again, so you get the function. So 2x cubed, it's a 3, over 3, uh, plus x plus c. Then you use the other condition to find c, and then you take the c and you plug it back in, and there it is. So you integrate, use your first condition to find c, uh, and then integrate, and then use your other condition to find c, and you are done.